Hello, I'm Dr. Randall Seacrest, your host for eOrthopod TV, and today we're talking once again with Dr. Richard Rue. And Dr. Rue is an orthopedic surgeon that practices uh, sports medicine in Yakima, Washington. And today I wanted to catch up with Dr. Rue about current thought on ACL reconstruction. So thanks for joining us today, Dr. Rue. Thank you. It's good to be here. Well, Dr. Rue, I, I think that you've had a long history of, of performing uh, anterior cruciate ligament reconstructions and have seen sort of the changes of this procedure uh, over the past two decades at least. Um, where are we today with that procedure? Well, with a lot of orthopedic procedures, uh, we're again trying to be less invasive um, and more anatomic. I, I think that, that those are the two emphasis in surgery right now. Um, try to do minimally invasive surgery and try to restore normal anatomy. Um, and so we've become much better at identifying the true anatomic insertion points for the ACL and the femur um, and the tibia. And we have some specialized instrumentation now that lets us do less invasive techniques. For instance, I do what's called an all-inside ACL reconstruction. And rather than drilling through and through tunnels through the bone in the femur to, to um, reattach the ACL, we have a um, special cutting device that allows us where we enter the bone to make a little four millimeter tunnel, but then to alter our cutting device to be the diameter of the graft insertion. So say we have a 10 millimeter insertion. We can put that little four millimeter device through the uh, cortex of the bone where the periosteum is, which is also where most of the sensory nerves are. So we make a very, very tiny skin incision, a very, very tiny entry point into the bone where the periosteum and the nerves are, but we're able to create, say, a nine or 10 millimeter socket in the bone where we're going to reattach that ACL. And that gives us several advantages. One that I've alluded on, that it, um, it's less invasive where the sensory nerves are. Um, and then two, you get less flush for, flu, bleh, excuse me, less flushing of fluid through the tunnels than you do with a full 10 millimeter um, tunnel. So there's less swelling after surgery. So less pain, less swelling after surgery. Plus, with some of our older techniques that we did arthroscopically, we were limited in terms of how we could position those tunnels or sockets where we reattach the ligament. Now we can be anatomic. I can put it wherever I want. I've got full freedom um, to get that um, anatomic because I'm drilling the femoral tunnel and the tibial tunnel completely independently rather than some older techniques where you would make your tibial tunnel and then make your femoral tunnel through the tibia tunnel, which limited a little bit where you could um, put that femoral tunnel. So suffice it to say, we've been more anatomic. Um, I think that there's a real trend now in ACL surgery, um, especially in athletic population. I'm a team physician for Central Washington University. I take care of uh, a lot of athletes. And we've found that in that younger high demand uh, population that autographed using their own tissue appears to be superior to using allograft. At least it heals in faster and we're able to get them back to um, play a little bit quicker and I think um, with a little bit stronger overall um, ligament in the most high demand athlete. So a lot going on both in technique, getting the anatomy correct. Uh, another emphasis that we're seeing now is um, there are two bands to the ACL, the um, posterior lateral and anterior medial band. And sometimes in patients, we'll actually do two tunnel surgery where we reconstruct both of those bands. Um, and then other times, we'll, we'll do a more traditional type of uh, graft in there. So um, better, better techniques. Um, more rapid rehabilitation. It seems that we rehab them more quickly all the time. Um, in terms of doing ACL surgery, we let them bear full weight immediately after surgery, unless we're in a situation where we've done a meniscus repair or an articular cartilage procedure where we're restoring the articular cartilage. And then in that situation, sometimes um, we have to limit weight bearing. 
So it's a, it's a really exciting time, particularly in arthroscopic um, surgery, because we've got better techniques for resurfing, resurfacing post-traumatic articular cartilage defects. Um, we're emphasizing meniscus repair whenever it's possible, rather than doing meniscectomy, uh, and we're doing very anatomic ACL and other ligament reconstructions. And I'm assuming that, like everything else, we're moving towards co almost completely doing this as an outpatient. Most of these cases are now just the standard to be done as an outpatient. Yeah, I don't think I've uh, admitted an ACL reconstruction patient in 15 years. And even now doing posterior cruciate ligament uh, surgery, I tend to do those as outpatient. And I, I, get a, I have a fairly large referral practice for multi-ligament reconstruction where I might do an ACL and a PCL or a uh, anterior cruciate ligament and medial collateral ligament or lateral collateral ligament or posterior lateral corner. And even a lot of those patients where we're doing multiple ligaments, we look at them, make sure that it's appropriate, that they have adequate pain control, that they've been educated properly. But even most of those are now going as outpatients. And if they do stay, it, it's usually less than 24 hours. Well, I'm going to put you on the spot here and ask you what you expect to happen in the next decade of, of ligament surgery around the knee. I mean, what are we looking at uh, as the major advances over the next 10 years? Well, I think that we'll understand growth factors better and what sort of growth factors that we can use to, to make the ligament heal faster, to revascularize faster, to become more, more normal ligament-like, to undergo a process of ligamentization, um, that we'll find those biologic factors that help with that. And to tell you the truth, you know, right now, we're very good with ACL surgery and all the ligament surgeries, you know, being very anatomic with it. But I think where the changes are going to be is that we're going to get better at resurfacing procedures for comorbidities where you have articular cartilage injuries with the original ACL tear and better at taking care of those um, and better with meniscus surgery uh, and quicker rehabilitation. So. Um, We've gotten dramatically better over the last 20 years. I, I think we're still in a rapid change period where we're getting better still. Okay. Well, it's been fascinating. Thanks for up upgrading us in terms of our knowledge on uh, uh, ligament surgery around the knee and look forward to coming back and talking with you later about uh, the next five years, maybe. That's great. I appreciate being here. Thank you. <laughs>